This will have to do. Wait, do we have extra books? We need something flat. Is a lead gonna work? I need to get one of those things that like puts you on the windscreen so that I can like have a professional car setup. I think it would be a worthwhile investment right now. I'm about to get very sweaty very quick because I'm in my car. I can't turn it on because it will make noise and you won't be able to hear me and I can't open the window because you won't be able to hear me and I can't go home and vlog because you won't be able to hear me just gonna have to make do like this i've even had to lower my steering wheel which i need to remember to undo before i drive because otherwise i'm like it's here because i'm like this when i drive anyway good morning welcome to a new vlog this vlog is gonna be interesting because the renault has started at the house which is why i'm coming to you from my car i actually was due to have a day of meetings my car is packed i have like my stuff my days of meetings in the car and it's just been cancelled so that's good it's also so humid that my hair is not doing things great so yeah the renault has started i will talk to you about that in a bit because it's been a experience i think we're about three weeks in i have some things to be telling you until then i am going to okay so i'm just reversing down this road this this road is crazy i'm not parked on my driveway because we can't do that right now but anyway as i was saying i'm about to go tile shopping instead because i need to have a look at some tiles in person because looking at them online is just like some of the tiles don't even have like a photo of what they look like on a wall you just get like a it's just a rectangle of a color and i'm like ah, i would bet good money that that doesn't look like that in real life instead of a day of meetings i'm going to sort my life out which is kind of good because i also need to like really sort myself out as well and like beauty prep for the weekend because it's ryan ryan's 30th is like starting like his week-long celebrations is starting and things aren't kind of going to plan so i want to try and make everything as special for him as i can and like be prepared so maybe the cancellations of the meetings has come for a reason yeah i also just need to sort myself out personally like i changed my iron tablets and i don't feel like the new ones are good for me so i need to go and get my old ones because i'm struggling physically mentally spiritually right now i'm not okay but until then i have a few kind of little updates to show you of the renault whilst i make my way to the tile shop so to keep you updated we came back from henley festival and the scaffolding was up it went up earlier than we expected and i actually obviously i've never had the outside of my house scaffolded i never thought about how dark it makes your house like it's like being in the dead of winter all the time so it's not ideal obviously noise pollution throughout the day i can't work but i was like yeah i'll be able to like do my tiktoks and stuff in the evening i'll be able to vlog in the evening bits of my paint on my ceiling are starting to fall down where the beams have been like taken up and bits have been replaced and stuff like that so the ceiling is like moving slightly and then the paint is moving and then the paint is falling off so basically i don't really have a lot of places to create content right now where the ceiling is actually in like you can see in the background that i'm missing patches of my ceiling and it's just it's not a good look so we came back from henley the scaffolding was up but everything was fine the work started which you'll see in like day one we went to santorini so that's why there's a huge like almost like a week's jump between the updates and then we came back from santorini and i didn't have a roof and I had no insulation, the house is freezing. Fortunately, things progress very, very quickly. Like we've got a really good team, which I'm really pleased about because we took a gamble and hired someone new. I loved my old builder so much. They were like, the whole team were great, but the quotes just kind of worked out in this situation and the new team seemed really nice as well so we just decided to take a bit of a risk but actually they've been amazing so once the process is more finished i'll tell you about them in more detail so yeah that's kind of where we're at things feel like disastrous but everything is moving really quickly by the way we have a move date we have a move date so the next vlog hopefully i will be packing which is good because the stairs are on their way and if you've done a loft conversion you know what that means also my camera is making the loudest clicking noise i dropped it the other day and the clicking's got worse i'm so sorry i'll order a new camera what was i saying i'm so stressed at the moment i'll talk to you about that as well that i just can't my brain doesn't retain information what was i talking about anyway there's like real lows when you see how we're living and just what's going on with me at the moment like i feel very quite low a lot of the time very quite low 
further. You know what I mean. But then these real highs when you see how things are progressing. Highs and lows at the moment and I'm really like juggling between the two. To prep you for what you're about to see, we have day one. I think we have like day 17. There's quite a big jump because of Santorini. As you will see with the more recent updates, things are kind of like starting to like come together, which has just been so exciting. The roof has changed as well, which I am super happy about. We have new tiles, which you won't be able to see because I can't show you, but maybe I'll be able to show you the back of the house. It looks, I was so genuinely so happy. So happy that we spent the money on that. I'll talk you through everything in full once we get home and I'm gonna take you up to our upstairs. Our new upstairs, I'm so excited. If you didn't know and you're wondering what the hell I'm talking about, we're doing a loft conversion. I'll talk to you about it more when I get home. I need to go to the tile place now because I've been sat in my car for 15 minutes. Here is my little diary of updates from the Reno so far. I can't wait to go up there and see what they've done later today because I think there's gonna be walls. Walls. Really excited for that, but I will be back with you shortly. Guys, it is day one. The reno has started and there's a hole in my roof. Ah! Day one, let's go. This is going to be a hallway, believe it or not. This is going to be a wardrobe room. It's going to be a bedroom and somewhere over here is going to be a bathroom. Pray for us. Okay, so this is day 17. Not much has changed over here, but over here, this is like our back wall. For those of you that don't know, that haven't seen it from the outside in the vlogs, it used to slope like the rest of these walls. We came back from Santorini and we had no back to our house. So that actually when we arrived back from Santorini at the weekend, there was only this like, I want to call it paper bag stuff, but I think it might be tarpaulin or something like that. Like literally that was all that was between this roof and the outside world and the house has been freezing. It was also 40 mile per hour winds. So this was noisy af i slept with noise cancelling headphones on it was an interesting evening this whole back area here is going to be my wardrobe room this ceiling will also not be here this is going to fully like come out and be level with the walls over here so where we're standing right now i believe will be a bathroom i'm currently standing in the shower but it's hard to reference because i don't think we've got any markers in here for like the new rooms yet but this is going to be front bedroom this is going to be the hallway we've moved our boiler successfully which is great because apparently sometimes they don't like to do that we'll update you in the next check-in okay third check-in walk-in wardrobe is taking shape they're building the east and west dormers i can't really show you all that well but you can kind of see it's like a square room so it's going to fully be like this all the way along it's super hard to show you though because i'm not sure where i can stand right now we need some flooring up in here asap <laughs> really glam having reno work like this done i can kind of see it now like it's gonna be so nice and big i'm so excited i love these little check-ins they make me really happy <laughs> i had hoped that i'd look cuter for today's check-in but apparently not i am in our upstairs ryan do you want to give us a tour This square here is the bathroom. This whole bit here is gonna be Dave's hiding. <laughs> this whole section here is gonna be my wardrobe room. Really not looking like much right now, but I'm thinking rails all along here, going into like a nice kind of like makeup desk, mirrors on one of these walls. This is gonna be like a balcony bit and then more kind of like storage desk space and more rails. Everyone keeps saying to me, is this bedroom over here gonna be the wardrobe and this will be the bedroom? And I'm like, <laughs> reverse it. And then, as I just said, this bedroom, this is actually gonna be so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. I'm so pleased. Like, do you reckon you'll be able to get a double bed in there? Because when you actually beef the walls out, it like takes a bit of the space. But yeah, I think we could get like a nice sized bed in there. But as a kid's room, it's also like really big. And then we're gonna have storage in the eaves as well. And then this is our hallway. Do, 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 do. and then this will be the stair area that will be extra loft space and then we also have a v-lux that's going into this bedroom here so it'll be nice and bright and there's also going to be a nice v-lux here as well and we've also just had the roof retiled uh, which you won't be able to see because i can't really show you but we've got lovely new tiles that actually match the house really nicely now so you excited <laughs> so just to give you an idea of the tiles these are the new tiles i love them i can't show you any other part of the roof 
this and the new tiles. Just know that when I'm up on the scaffolding, this is what's going on at all times. It's so scary up here. I'm not actually a builder's daughter, it turns out. I was not made to be up scaffolding. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Here we go. So I'm thinking I want something like this, but in like a brown. This pink is too pink. This is the vibe. Almost if this were gloss, that's what I want. I want this, but in this finish. Oh my god, I love this for the floor. I have to really not get distracted and resist the temptation to put this all over my entire bathroom. Obsessed. It's like blue. That's amazing. Okay, this could be cute. This is it with white grout, and I actually really like that. Now, also considering this one, I love the kind of jagged edging of these. Arctic grey is quite nice. This is the white. This is very white compared to the last one, but this one is like an off-white and I actually I really like that. Actually, taupe is also really nice as well, though a bit more green based, but kind of a bit warmer, which I like. And I'm going to have gold accessories, so I feel like gold would go really nice with this. They didn't have the shade range that I wanted. Stack you up again. You are currently stacked on top of a set of Ibiza themed playing cards and a NARS Laguna bronzer because I am never without it. Honestly, the things that I carry around with me, I have two bags. So this is like my bag because I had meetings and I was just going to keep it in my boot and just kind of like refresh throughout the day. There's so much stuff and it's all so random. We've got a peachy hand cream, one of my favorite hand creams. Sells out a lot, so if I can find it in stock, I will link it. It's just one of the best. I actually have been getting a lot of questions on my lip products recently. There's a lot of different combos. Today, we have the Beauty Pie Velvet Matte Lip Crayon with the Lancome 510 Rouge Drama Matte in the shade Divine Idol. And this is just like a really lovely light nude and they work really well together. They're both a matte finish, but one's slightly darker, so it just gives like a nice depth to the lip. MAC Stone Lip Liner is always the first lip liner I put on my lips, no matter what. If I don't use it, it's literally because I don't have it with me. That is the only reason that I wouldn't use this. I've been using this since 2018 now. For the base of my lip lining, I quite often use a Huda Beauty lip liner. This shade is honey beige, but I normally have pinky brown with me. This one's more of a like less pink toned brown, but I prefer pinky brown. And then I have the Dior Lip Glow Oil color reviver cherry oil i'm obsessed with this like sometimes i just put my mac lip liner on and then this and it honestly just looks unreal and i think that's what you guys have been asking about for a lot of the lip combos because it seems to be when it like i think it's when i'm wearing a glossy lip you guys always ask what it is it is this these are amazing i would say the color in this doesn't isn't reflective of the color that goes on my lips. I think it's just ended up being a funny color because I've used it so many times. If you're a lip gloss girly, you'll know the deal. And then I also have the NARS lipsticks. These are the new ones. This is Dolce Vita and it's the Afterglow Sensual Shine Lipstick. Love these. This is so nice. It's like Armani 109, which you guys will know I love so much, but like glossier. Those are my lip products. Those are all of them. I also have my nerdy little glasses. My Chanel ones have like the screws come out so I'm missing an arm so I'm back to these. These are actually a slightly stronger prescription which is probably for the best to be honest because I actually think my vision is not visioning right now. Wearing these a lot. These, they don't make these anymore. I'm so sorry. Everyone loses their mind for them because they are such cute glasses. They're real like Harry Potter vibes, but really cute at the same time. Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Can't be without it. And then we've got the NARS bronzer, my Vive blush and bronze brush to go with that. Your vanilla Diorama. Anyway, I need to stop. All I've done today is vlog in the car, but I'll, I'll wrap this up. I then have the Larry King Social Life. This is always in my bag to the point where I forget that it's in my bag and then I go through airport security and they always pull me up on this. So put this in your liquids, guys. I love this. Like my hair just doesn't look right anymore without it. Once you pop, you will not be able to stop. Like it's just so good for like get, taming your flyaways. I have very long flyaways, so I do have to pull it quite far down on the hair so if you do have to also do that like me make sure you don't use too much because you will kind of risk having almost like a bit too much product for a bit it dries up so it doesn't like leave your hair looking like wet or anything like that but i love using this and the baby hairs are very annoying so i like to use it for the baby i can't believe i'm doing this in like a warehouse car park like what I, what am i doing with my life anyway the most relatable thing in the world 
just me at all times because I'm traumatized by past experiences. I'm fine at the moment, but I just, in the summer, these are always in my bag. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't need to know and you're probably fine. And bless you, what does it feel like to be God's favorite? Also, this was literally because I didn't know what the weather was gonna be like today. I just thought I'd err on the side of caution and bring this baby with me. The Dyson Corral, but in the electric like bluey purpley color and it's got rose gold accents to it it is stunning so they do a navy and a cop like a coppery gold but this when i saw this i was like i must have that and i was on the market for a new straightener and i was torn between this or the barbie pink I went for this. I bought this with my own money, by the way. I did just work with Dyson, but I bought this with my own money because I was using the Barbie straightener for the project that I worked on. If you haven't seen it, go and have a look because it's cute. I loved it so much that I was like, I need this. Like, I need this. I am so, so over the moon with it. It's stunning. It is stunning. And I just love how, like, portable it is. It's amazing. Honestly, like, my curls have never lasted so long. I was very, very, very impressed. Anyway, I don't know what I'm going to do about these tiles, you guys. I have such a specific vision. I'll put it on screen. I'm happy to share the mood board with you. I don't need to keep it a surprise for you guys. Let's, like, share the journey. These are the tiles. This is the vibe. I could go for a white tile as long as it's, like, an off-white. And then we get some contrast between the white grout and the white tile. I don't mind but i just i would quite like something kind of almost like nudie taupey just like something that's it's not white but it's not too deep a color i don't want this mid-toned i want something that's like still very very light but just like not a white white like a nude white a beige also why does everything cost so much when it comes to like even the ugliest basins and sink units are like 200 pounds and it's just all really racking up and i'm so unimpressed i just don't want to like redo the bathroom in like x amount of years time because i put in a bathroom that i wasn't happy with it's good to know that i don't feel like tops tiles is doing it for me but let me know what you think of the tiles that i did show that was tile shopping let's go home and i will show you today's loft update and how we are currently living can't wait we've got the goods from home and ryan's just told me something so you know i was telling you guys that paint is like falling off the ceiling like this is a good room but what happened to you this morning i was having my breakfast and i think i ate a little bit of paint <laughs> i didn't see it but i thought it was like a little flake of these b12 flake oh no so i ignored it and then when I was eating it, I was like, this tastes a little bit funny. And I looked up and saw that <laughs> there's a new... Well, you can see there's a little bit hanging down. Yeah. So I think I've eaten paint this morning. Oh no. Nutritional. So we are about to go up into the loft. We don't have stairs yet. So we have to go up the scaffolding, which for me, I am not good with heights. So I'm like mega proud of myself that I've been able to manage this. And I can show you guys around. I need to take my phone because everyone keeps asking for like photos and videos. And I always, I show you guys what's going on, but I forget to take my phone and show my friends and fam. So we need to remember to do both today. Windy up here today, not loving life. This feels different to normal. Oh my God. Okay, so this is the bathroom that we're in. This is the hallway. This is a bedroom. And this is the shroom. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's so big. So, windows, doors. What are you saying? Just if we're gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> You're very excited about this, aren't you? I am. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited about this. This is the best bit. This makes having a skip on your driveway worth it. So big. Yeah, it's decent. I'm actually buzzing. Right, I need to remember to get videos and photos. This is the guest room. We're gonna have a bed here and I'm really excited to put a little nook in here. We've got a nice big Velux. This is gonna be our loft area. These are gonna be our stairs. I'm so excited to have stairs. I can't even tell you guys. There's also gonna be a Velux here, I think. This is the bathroom. In the bathroom, we're gonna have shower here and then sink here mirror here little wall lights all cute cute tiles need to decide on the flooring i actually haven't decided on that toilet here rad here are you excited i can't see you i actually can't see you you're completely dark <laughs> stunning brian's not ex as excited for this as i am i'm gonna spend way more time up here than you are so i'm thinking whole shelving rails around here a little makeup desk over here and then a big mirror here Stunning. Love being up here. I could be a builder. Yeah, 
<laughs> you heard it here first kids, it's easy. Good morning, I'm coming at you from London and there are no house updates today because they're kind of at one of those weird niggly points where they're like tweaking a lot of stuff. It doesn't look like much is changing but they're just like getting the walls ready and like the electrician is putting in wiring today which actually isn't all that interesting for you guys but I'm actually on my way to see Victoria and Amelia for lunch. It's very exciting. I haven't seen Amelia. We know I've seen Victoria recently. I haven't seen Amelia in a little while so I'm really looking forward to catching up with her. Very nice to get out of the house. I actually have a really busy day today. Just going through the trees so no one can see me vlogging. After 10 years I actually still get self-conscious which is probably quite bizarre but yeah 10 years can't shake it. This is exactly what I need today. Getting out of the house, whoa, getting out of the house. I'm also taking my mum for dinner because it's her birthday today. It's a big birthday. I won't say which one. She won't appreciate that. But my dad's actually really not feeling very well. He's full of like cold and he's like coughing and spluttering. She's like, he's just coughing everywhere. <laughs> um, so I'm going to take her on her romantic dinner instead. <laughs> Lovely dinner with the girls. Lovely dinner with my mum. So a very busy day and I thought I'd get my steps in and walk to Amelia's instead of the usual public transport situations. I don't have time to do a workout today and I'm actually really trying to prioritise myself at the moment and do workouts and huh, I'm, tr I'm trying and not doing the best job because there are so many other things going on all at once. So this is today's attempt and it's a good old walk so we're doing well so far. Anyway, I need to get my stomp on, get those steps in, and I will be back with you in a little bit. I don't know why I was walking through the bushes because it's actually like dead along here now. There is nobody here. Just been wading through the bugs and the trees for no reason. Stunning. needs a wow. tour. Vic's getting a tour. I'm gonna chill with my best friend. Hi baby. Oh, boy. Hi. This could not be more you. We're this seeing the new room. Yeah. Oh my god, new oh, wardrobes. Have you showed these? I've showed you like kind of. You can show them. Oh no, I can't. Yeah, <laughs> All pixelated out. Oh wow. wow. Oh my god. Are you Who wanted the same people that did my Shroom, but they're mm. just too busy since I mentioned that. These are fantastic. Mm. This is the curse yeah, of not gatekeeping. I them, and then I can never get hold of them again. Oh no! <laughs> oh, look at that oak though. Is it all real oak inside? You can get this, it's MDF. special MDF, isn't it? There's yeah. a certain brand of MDF, MDF which is. MDF. Wow. God, Amelia is cooking rice which smells divine and look at this table set up. This is unreal. I never realized that your doors open all the way up like this. So lovely. Such a cute table set like she's fully laid the table for us. So lovely. Oh Duke, you are such a vibe. I love you so much. Are you okay? Is it a bit warm? Oh a little lick. Thank you. Such a good boy. I'm obsessed with you. Poms are just the best and chihuahuas poms and chihuahuas and i have both because she's both and we love her rice queen oh. wow <gasps> wow this is unreal bro oh my god the table is unreal look at this lunch birthday. I've made it with five minutes to spare. Just getting the train now. I just have just enough time to get some flowers for her. And now I need to go home and get her card and her present. Stress. Oh my god. The things we do for mums. Well, wasn't that just a big fat fail yesterday evening? I fully intended on taking you with me 
to dinner with my mom, vlogging just the whole day. And you know what? The universe said no, yesterday turned into an absolute disaster. I left Amelia's so nice and early, managed to not miss my train, like had plenty of time to spare, even had time to get my mom a bunch of overpriced peonies from the station, which I never do and I would never do for anyone other than her, because those peonies are extortionate. But on the train, everything was fine. And then there was a problem on the line and they had to shut off all of the electricity the train wasn't running it wasn't moving no air con no nothing lots of you won't know this but i am quite claustrophobic and it comes out in different ways like it can even be mental claustrophobia but like it was hot and it was uncomfortable the person next to me really wanted to like cuddle up to me which was really not helping I was just trying to read my book <laughs> and stay calm but i sat on that non-moving train for almost an hour. We missed dinner at the Ivy, which I was really sad about. I am one of those people that is slightly chaotic, but has a very organized parent. Like some would say hyper organized, like she's so organized. And so I always just seem like a disaster to her. It's really giving rom-com main character. That is the story of my life, basically. I really didn't want to let her down. But I got kicked off the train early. Like they didn't even carry it on through all the stops they like aborted mission early which was also great so <laughs> she had to come pick me up my mum hasn't picked me up since i was like 15 years old very embarrassing for me i managed to get a res at brighton beach house she loves it there and she can't she's not a member so she doesn't book herself in there so thank god we pulled that out the bag it was touch and go there for a bit and i was very stressed anyway today I am actually going to go and see my friend Carla. She is also doing a bit of a reno situ at the moment. We're kind of living in equal levels of chaos. So I'm gonna go see her and we're basically just going to compare houses and just like console each other. We have reached the stage that we got to in the last reno where I don't know where anything is anymore, which is fantastic. Yeah, I haven't seen her in ages. So I'm really looking forward to seeing her. Oh, there's pigeons having a fight in my garden. Oh, I had the best time with the girls yesterday. I always say this, it's no surprise to you guys now. I always have the best time with them. I wish we could just all live together. It would be so fun. This NARS blush is just, have I talked to you about this? So I know I talked about it on TikTok, but I don't know if I've talked about it in the vlog, but oh, it's unreal. It's Dolce Vita in the After Glow liquid blushes from NARS and they're new and they're just unreal, love it. Do you know what I'm also loving? I got this set, which you will probably see in this vlog. I'm gonna do a full show and tell of my clothing orders that I have done in the next vlog. I'm very excited to show you because I haven't bought anything in a little while, not really since my trip to South France, which the vlog obviously didn't go live until recently, but that was actually the orders were quite a while back. Again, no house updates today. You can probably tell by how non crazy oh that's bright by how non-crazy noisy it is but i don't think there are builders in today i don't know why that's unusual this is the first time i think in like three weeks i don't think anyone's been here unless they're just doing some quiet work i feel like that's a thing with a lot of conversion though oh the next reno vlog you guys and the stairs are going in this has been the bit i've been dreading and they kind of they don't want to hold off so we're gonna be living in a dust pit for a while if anyone has any recommendations is there something i can put in front of my doors to stop like dust seeping under like you know my nan used to have these like door stopper things can i can i put those in front of my doors to stop like dust getting into every room will that work we really are just going to be confined to one room this is the best lip combo i can't stop using it I use my two lip liners max stone and Huda Beauty Pinky Brown, and then this Dior Lip Glow Oil. And it's just so perfect. I do this combo normally. Ryan always asks me if I've had my lips done. I haven't had my lips done since 2018. It just makes them look so nice and full and juicy. I'm really enjoying this powder at the moment. I got sent it and it was perfect timing because I needed a darker powder. This one's so nice, really natural, like not too mattifying. So like nice for summer when you want a summer glow that's what needs to be set you know without too much of a contrast because it's weird when you've got so much glowy makeup on and then just certain areas are like completely matte so, yeah, that's so nice it's the kosas comfy cloud set in the shade no idea 
I'll link to it. I'll put all the details in the info box. Side note, everything I mention is in the info box. I just saw a couple of comments which I need to reply to on my latest video. And there were lots of people saying, I didn't hear what you said. What is the thing that you were talking about? And it's always in the info box. If it's not, just shout at me. But don't shout, but just tell me because that's me not doing my job properly. But it should be in the info box. Put a little thing on screen of where it is if you're watching on like mobile because they made it disappear very helpful of them i need to go now i will be back with you at one of our building site houses au revoir there are watermarks on my ceiling also when i talk about like what my ceiling now looks like just now you can't even really see it it's just bits of ceiling missing this is small there are bits of ceiling missing everywhere and sometimes there's like just big cracks like this one Stunning. Like, this is my hallway. I don't know if you can see. I'm missing a light. <laughs> the lights in this house are wired so weird. So one of the bases, like, sat above. And we didn't want to be stuck with the same lights forever. So now in random places, there's just no lights. My bedroom. Now. There's no light. <gasps> and my bedroom ceiling just has patches missing. Just don't do a lot of conversion, kids. Don't, just don't do it. I knew, I always knew it was going to be like this, but actually, like, we have lived through an era on the internet, I think especially on Instagram, where people really glamorise, like, flipping a house and, like, doing renos, and no, it's not that fun. It's not as fun as people make it look. If you're going to buy a project, you need to really be, like, ready, because I'm, I'm... This is not enjoyable for me. I am not the kind of person that enjoys this. I would have preferred to have just bought a new house, but the economy said no. Anyway. Let's get out of here, because I've had enough. Carla is also having a ceiling disaster today. <laughs> Hi, babe. How are you? <laughs> she hasn't been in the vlog in ages. So this is your project. Do you want to show welcome, us? Welcome. This is the beautiful Wow. Do you know what? I actually think this is so cool. I think it'd be nice to have this plastered and just um, have some nice tiles around it. But yeah. Think we can keep the arch. No, nice. I genuinely... Uh, I love that. I love a little. There's lots of features here. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is the you have truly ripped everything out. Is this stained? Oh yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Yeah, the P day is going. Does Joe enjoy using it? Loves it. Try it already. <laughs> we need to start getting going with this because. Yeah. What are your plans? Tell us. So I think I'm going to do like a herringbone marble tile just on the walls. Love. So I only have a, um, a shower tray mm -hmm. and then tile the floors. So just have tiled herringbone floor. What do you think? It, like herringbone on the floor as well as the... Yes, the floor Ooh. and just the walls in the shower. And then the rest will probably white paint everything and do mm -hmm. panelling. Just so then it's not so tile heavy. Yeah, I love that. And it saves on cost as well. Is the bath going in here? Yeah, we're going to have a bath underneath the wall. Oh, um, with the Burlington bath taps. So the bath probably comes to here. And then we'll have a nice basin here and then the toilet will go here. Stunning. <laughs> <laughs>